Hello, and welcome to my first how-to video in modding games on the PC. The first game we'll be looking at is Nier Automata, which came out uh, last summer and re recently went on sale on Steam. Uh, so I picked it up, was checking out how things uh, were in the vanilla version without any mods installed, uh, and things were pretty rough. Uh, unfortunately, there was a lot of issues in the port, uh, and it was never patched, uh, so the game was uh, having a lot of stuttering. Uh, when you had the game full screen, the images were all stretched. Uh, things were just in a very rough state. Uh, unfortunately, Square Enix did not release any patches to fix these specific issues on PC, and it appears they were focused on the console versions. The good news of this, however, is that the modding community, uh, the gaming community in large, uh, came along and put out several patches uh, and utilities that fix all of the problems that were present in the game. Uh, I do not know who these people are uh, that created it. Uh, I do know there's a list of people out there, but I'm not going to even try to thank everybody. Uh, but just in general, the modding community for this has been really, really great. Before we get into the mods and how to install them, I want to say all of the links for the programs and mods that we'll be installing will be in the description for the video. Uh, if you like this video, please like the video on YouTube. Uh, I'm more than w willing uh, to help anybody in the comments section that has any questions. Please subscribe if you like my videos. Uh, so let's get started. First, we're going to talk about FAR. FAR is the main mod that fixes all of the problems I listed and a whole lot more. Uh, it was made, again, by several people, and uh, we're going to get working on installing this. So first, uh, once you, I would recommend you download all the files and the links I've given you into a central location so it's easy to install. Obviously, you'll need to install near before we, you start. Uh, so first thing we're going to install here is this SKIM64 file. It is the downloader and installer for FAR. So just double click on that file. You'll see here uh, there's a selected product. It does not default to FAR. You're going to need to select that from the list. So click FAR and then click install. It's going to come up and ask if you want to install the software, click yes. It's going to take just a couple seconds and download and install everything automatically and it's done. Now, I have a very fast connection plus an SSD, so uh, the installation and download times will vary, but that's really all you have to do. FAR is now installed, so that's pretty cool. We'll go through, like I said, and do a gameplay video so you can see how the game runs. Uh, in a separate video, uh, but let's move on to the next mod. The next mod uh, really is not a mod within itself. It's just, it, it's links up with FAR and uh, it replaces a lot of the textures in the game to make things uh, a lot prettier by replacing the textures in game. Now this is an incomplete pack. You may run into some textures that have not been fixed yet, but in large, the textures are replaced and look pretty good. So. All you have to do here is browse out to the Steam location for Nier, which is right here on my computer. From there, all you want to do is open up this texture pack, zip file, and drag and drop this folder into your Nier Steam folder. It's going to copy over, and again, this may take a lot longer in your system. It is a gig in size, uh, a lot of different files, but you just have to wait. Once that copies, that's all you have to do. Super easy. Install. Again, the in installation process for the mods for Nier is surprisingly simple. The last mod we're going to talk about is if you have a DualShock 4 controller. Uh, if you have an Xbox 360 controller or an Xbox One controller, this isn't for you. Uh, and the game will run natively on those controllers. On a DualShock 4, like a lot of different games on PC, the PC itself supports the DualShock 4, but the games are made for the Xbox controllers. So, uh, you're going to have to download some kind of controller emulator that will allow you to use 
the DualShock 4 on your PC. I personally use a program called DS for Windows, and it will again be, the link for that will be inside of the description below. Uh, but I already have it installed, so let's launch that so you can see how that looks. There you go. What we're going to do here is the last mod that I'm going to install uh, will add the DualShock 4 controller prompts into the game. Again, by default, it's the Xbox prompts, so even if you launch that emulator, your prompts are going to be Xbox, uh, like A, B, uh, X, Y, those button prompts. So all you need to do to install this is open up this prompts download. You'll see this data folder. Just drag and drop it into your near folder. It'll copy everything it needs over, and you're done. Again, super easy. So we have everything installed that we're going to need. Uh, the one last thing I will say is inside of data, there is a movie logo folder. Uh, when the game starts, there are several legal warnings and some other movies that always play. Uh, if you rename this folder, that will not happen. So I'm just going to name it movie logo A, and that'll stop that from happening. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is in-game, and again, I'm not going to narrate this because the music and everything will be running for the game itself. We're going to launch near. I'm not going to show gameplay, but I'm going to show you uh, enabling um, some effects inside of the FAR utility. Uh, and, what, and what this is going to be is setting ambient inclusion and bloom resolution to your native uh, resolution on your monitor, uh, which will make things look significantly better. So uh, I'm going to go on mute here. I will show you on screen where to enable these, uh, and that will be the end of the video. Uh, thank you for joining, and again, like and subscribe if you like the content, and have a good evening.